the audiences are asked to stand and say the pledge to the flag. And like we're backstage or maybe off to the side of a gym. And as we look over the various audiences, we notice that a lot of times there are some people who refuse to recite it. Like I can dig it, I can understand because I felt that way at one time too. But I heard the pledge said in a different way and it wasn't a pledge to Nixon or a pledge to any president for that matter, but it was a pledge to the people of the United States. And it made me think twice about it. And we'd like to do it for you now, that way, if you can dig it, and for what it's worth, the Pledge of Allegiance. I, that's me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all I have to give without self-pity. Allegiance, that's my love and my devotion to the flag. That's no sacred piece of cloth that we have to bow down to and worship. It doesn't mean anything by itself. It's just a symbol. But it's a symbol with meaning because wherever it waves or wherever it's hanging on the wall, there's respect. There's respect for you. There's respect for me. There's respect for the brother sitting beside you. There's respect between us. And that respect breeds freedom. And it's your loyalty that gives it a dignity that shouts freedom is everybody's job. Yours and mine. Of the United States. United means we've all come together. Fifty individual communities with pride and dignity of purpose. And that's love for country. And that's a commitment to people, man, to people, not to a piece of ground that we call our country, no. But to the people that live there. Even the man next door. If you can take the time to find out who he is. Of America. And to the Republic. Republic. A state in which sovereign power is invested to representatives chosen by the people to govern. And government is the people, man, and it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people, as we're led to think so many times. For which it stands. One nation. So blessed by God. Indivisible and capable of being divided with liberty and that's freedom and it's freedom to live your life the way you want to live it without threats or fear of some sort of retaliation because of political views or religion or race it doesn't make any difference at least it shouldn't make any difference and justice the principle or quality of dealing fairly with others for all man it's everybody that's black white red yellow brown young or old long hair or short hair man or woman doesn't make any difference we're all in this together and it's just as much your country as it is mine i don't have a hassle in my mind about saying the pledge i really don't but there's one thing there's one thing that brings me down and that is since it was written Two words have been added to the pledge. Under God. Now that will probably be considered a prayer. And that too will be eliminated from our schools. So on we go. 